Hey guys. Okay, so doing a little bit of maintenance, trying to get one of my SVO3s back up and running because I want to print a helmet. So um, this one's not currently running because there is filament, like this, stuck in there. And this is something that happens far too often and uh, I can't stand it. And uh, yeah, yeah. So we are going to be hopefully propping you up and hopefully the bed doesn't move and taking this apart so we can pull this metal shroud off. And then once I have it off, I will turn it on so we can heat up. Oops. Those two screws back there. And then just be careful of your beetle touch. I haven't had to do that much often or changing because the filament is stuck in the extruder um, on this particular printer. Um, but I have had to do it on the other SVO3 that I have. In fact, I have to do it again because I'm pretty sure that's one of the problems that I'm running into on these guys. Um, looking at selling these because it's just too much. I'm wanting replacement workhorses for my artilleries. Not a printer that I have to, oh look, we're oozing. Uh, do a lot of maintenance on. We don't want you down there. So I'm just gonna, can't wrap it around. And we're back. So I've got it clipped off just to the side to make sure that it's not too hot for this area. We're gonna turn it on. <sighs> the L-Touch is gonna probe. heat the nozzle up to let's do 215 so I can pull all that out of there because this is not originally what I was wanting to do but because that's all built up we're gonna clean that but this shroud here this one little piece is really what I'm wanting to get into it still needs to be turned on because I still need to be able to heat it up because there's filament stuck inside the heat break. Um, and then probably need to find a new nozzle for that guy. I'm dealing with wood. So wood is an abrasive filament. I have a 
would be good to change that out. I'm, I'm just listening because it sounds like I've got another print that's failing right above me. Nope, not failing, just making noise. Okay. It's at temp. see more okay let me get some pliers okay so I don't like using pliers again watch your fingers I don't like using pliers because I don't always have grip on them Come here. and I use these for a lot of other things so they're not I don't think this light uh, is it for me. Upset. This is just, I'm using the tools that are within my easy reach. Okay, that wasn't actually that one. Okay. Cool. Back to original. There's the third one. trying to watch my fingers. I don't want to burn them. this whole thing. Okay. Uh, yes. Can't put you there because then I can't see. What I'm doing. Do I know what I'm doing? Kind of. 
All the other ones have been really easy to get out. I don't remember doing this much. Now to get it out. This is gonna actually be easier than I thought it would be. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that is. This is not a TPU filament. try and remove the nozzle. You have to be careful of your wires. I need to move my phone, so I am sorry you don't get to witness this. But you want to hold your heat brake um, still so that you don't damage any of those wires. Okay, so I got it loosened. There it is. Don't touch because it's it's hot. That wasn't the thing. That was just me making the suction sound because that's how it sounded in my head. This is what I just pulled. Well, it's not gonna focus. There we go, kind of. All right. So this is what I just pulled out of the heat break, so that is the extruder gear part. That was where it was kind of with the nozzle, so that is definitely a clog. Um, let me get a needle. I'm going at this from That you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so needle, I'm going in with the bigger bit. That really wasn't all that much. Definitely a clogged nozzle though. Okay. <sighs> so now I'm just going to basically do the reverse. So this is the nozzle I just pulled off. Nozzle, this is the one I just pulled off of the machine. has been used a little bit before, um, but you can see, maybe it will focus enough, the hole on this one is bigger than the hole on this one. Right. So yeah, just reverse to put it all back together. So now that we are all back together, also don't forget this one. This one's high beam. Uh, if you have a 
cover up anything like mine. I had no idea that that's where I pulled that third one from. All right, so now that we have put a new nozzle, anytime you change your nozzle out or do what I did where I was pressing down on the bed, I was moving the Z arms up and down, um, I also disconnected and moved the BL touch. You always want to re-level your bed. 